Good eye and welcome to today's vlog. It's going to be a bit like that today. It's going to be one of them vlogs. A little bit of a lie in. I oh did. One's taken a little bit of time to recover from yesterday. One got carried away a little bit yesterday with oneself, but one did have a very interesting day nonetheless. Oh man, and I slept like a baby and I've been up quite early. And um, anyway, so I don't really have a vlog to bring you today, guys. No subject matter, uh, nothing much of an interest whatsoever at all. But I thought I would make a vlog about what I'm actually doing today because I am making some other vlogs. And the one I'm going to make in a moment is going to be on the I'm going in channel is of this place that's been abandoned Fort Apache the Bronx this place oh it's mad right mad I can get in I think I can get in it is all sort of blocked up I've tried to speak to someone but they don't own the place here so I am the, I am in a bit once I've finished my introduction to today's vlog I will be going in there doing my abandonment of whatever this whatever that is the fort of Platon I'm on the back road um, at Platon so I want to just bring you up to speed with a little bit of news guys I will be off it's, it is difficult to be off at the moment I'm having such a good time it's, it's like I'm proper holiday mode it, it, it really is it's like I'm living the dream and that. but I won't be living the dream for much longer the nightmare will begin I will be off traveling I do have a flight to book but before I fly I do want to take you guys um, around a tour I'd like to do a little bit more of South Thailand while I can uh, while it's in the peak season now I have walked up uh, to here because I've seen this gone up in the last week I think there's a little bit of paint that needs to be going on I don't know if that's made out of MDMF or just ply board either or um, cheaply done I don't know what it is we've got a voucher buy ticket 2500 guide buy ticket I don't know oh room 88 oh man is it a knocking shop don't know guys there's a number there if you want to know what it actually is it opens at 7 p.m. till 11 2005 guy what is it what is room 88 I'm intrigued man what is going on here for 2500 baht doors are locked man voucher buy ticket guide buy ticket 2500 open from 9 of 7 to 11 four hours what is what is happening in there man don't know don't know i don't know i don't know so what things did i want to bring you up to speed well look look at this area it's crazy like i say you got that fort all there then you've got all these outbuildings all around here so i'm going to have a really good investigation hopefully i can keep it down to 15 minutes because again on my other channels that is all i can release at the moment until i get more watch time it'll all come slowly but surely so i want to bring you up on a little bit of news about thailand i had seen i do see this, the news do see it i don't take it in i let the other people get on with it They'll tell you all the news, like the red card and the yellow card system being implemented. And yesterday, I saw that it had been scrapped. That's why I don't report on it, because I know perhaps tomorrow it may be re-implemented. And again, I don't report on the 45-day visa that was going to run till the end of March. Now, going to run for the end of the year, but could be put back to 30 days tomorrow so I don't report on the Thai news because it's not really news it's just rubbish it's got nothing to tell you and it changes like the wind so rather than making myself look as daft as the other news readers I do not get involved one let them get involved and then I can just cop the mickey can't I it's like it's ridiculous so I'm trying to think if there's any other news for Thailand they're still bringing in the Russians Thai people are getting a bit annoyed with how horrible they are. Ill manners, ill politeness. Give me beer, give beer, beer. No please, no thank you. And it's not just the Russians. It's other nationalities that don't have that. Them good manners. They're just Brits, Aussies, Yankees, 
Canadians, Europeans have. We do, and Eastern Europe as well. No, what a wicked looking spot. Look, so, I'll have to put you guys on pause whilst I go in. Okay. I'm just, I'm still round about Patong. I am. Hang on. Always. Noise, noise, noise. Now, I've just been riding around on a little wreck here. I'm just, I want to, um, uh, <clears throat> I want to show you some places you wouldn't normally see in Patong. And I am just milling about today. But so it, it, this is what I basically do when I'm not vlogging. I'm usually riding about on the horse, doing recon work. Trying to tie other things up with vlogs that I've been doing in the past while I'm here. And so one of the things I haven't vlogged about, which I really like, right at the other end of Batong, is the fisherman's kind of village where our estuary is. Uh, just down there at the end of that road. Which I want to I wanna have a little look at, to be honest. I, I think there's something going on. So I've now come up the hill which if you go up there, that will take you to Paradise Beach, which I'll bet is probably packed. But that's not why I turned the camera on. No, I turned the camera on. I saw this building that's popped up in the last six months. It's, it's kind of boarded off, but there's, there's no sign. Let's have a little, I just want to have a closer look. But more importantly, I want to see what's going on over there, where the river is, where the fisherman's village kind of is. And I believe, aha, uh -huh. oh man, what is this building, man? Looks, it looks audacious, just popped out of the earth. <laughs> you guys know I don't like heights, and it's, well, I hope I get pushed someone sneaking up but what a, even when the let's say they've done the magical thing but look at all the where's all that water oh, it's probably bird muck bird muck down the side of it on there i mean they've built this but have they thought about how they're going to keep it clean no i don't think so let's have a quite a little look at it <laughs> mate you'd need some aircon i see there's probably two aircon units in the roof i don't know what this oh mate that pointing mate oh that's a bit naughty why don't they scrape that off? That's really naughty. Should have done that when it was wet. Going off. Is the door open? No. Looks awesome though. <laughs> and it's a bit of a... Oh man. Oh. Oh okay. Okay kapoom. Okay sorry. <laughs> they told me to get off his lane. Well you know. It's going to happen. I want to have a look over there. <laughs> to see where I was yesterday. I am... Um, where I saw that sewage plant kind of built, they've been working on that for so much time. And from up here, I've seen that there's a lot more um, work going on. So, I don't know how I'm going to get out. <laughs> it's okay getting in. Wow! Getting out weren't too bad. <laughs> it's taking this photograph. <laughs> That's fair enough. Like I say, yes, yeah, it's. it's <laughs> it is what it is. People don't want you, but I want to see what's going on over there. There's like a whole new riverbank being built, built up. So I want to go and check that out. I say it's just one of those days. I'm just milling about. I haven't got a, a real project in mind, uh, other than making an abandoned vlog, and then on the way home, <laughs> I want to make uh, an I'm my wasted life vlog so i'll do that in a bin it bin it i'll do that in a bin it i'll go down there and have a look at the boat see what's what's going on okay i didn't get far <laughs> didn't as i come down the hill i thought i saw the turn in for the ramari which is rather splendidious security guy <laughs> let me in i said i'm just going up to reception got a nice view from up here so, you know it's like, I get sidetracked all the time. I've got, you know, just going with the flow today. It's got a wicked view. And on that pier, 
towards the end of it is a boat I want to check out. I don't know if it's the floating beach club that I've heard of. I don't know until I get down there, but I'll get down to, <laughs> to there in a minute. First things first, I want to see what the Amari's like. I do. I do. I'll have a little walk around the reception straight through there. So, oh man, look, it's got a nice waterfall. In the parking, I just parked a horse right there. Oh man, it's really cool. Look, Imari Phuket. People here come and get picked up, taken to the airport. Wow, as you walk in. Sweaty cab, sweaty cab, sweaty cab, sweaty cab. Um, is it okay if I. Yeah, it's, it's okay. Right? Yeah, yeah, I'll be. Okay, cup on cab, thank you very much. Wow. How kind, man, when you come to reception just to take photo or walk around and they usually let you. Um, so I don't bother sneaking in. We just ask and then we can go in. So there's your booking, cashless payments, reception over there. A lovely, oh man. There's aircon blowing, it's lovely. It's nice. I like it. <laughs> I'm glad I walked in. Oh man, there's a diorama. Diorama? Hey, how cool is that? Little miniature diorama. With all those little rooms. Oh man, so you, man, wicked, look. Ah oh man, and that's the pier. I love a diorama. <laughs> yes, I do. Wow. Look at this. You guys don't have to get treated. Matt, it's a little bit high. <laughs> that bar looks, mate, it all looks spot on. They really do, the kiddies play area down there. Everything looks really, really good. Really good. How it should. Spot on, crystal clear, clean looking, pristine looking. Swatty calf, good eh? Good eh? Oh man, it is, it is, the upkeep is really good. Floor, clean, everything. Everything. And you can get tailored, fitted. Day trips, dive courses, swimwear, boutiques. Right there. Oh, it's wicked. And as the steps go around and down, I oh mean, you just look out to the coast. Beautiful, I might go down there in a second. Just have a little look in here. That is superb. Love to see that full of fresh seafood and lobsters. I would. An Instagram moment. Or maybe Tinder. Decided to tell, oh man, and this. Is this all open? Yes, it is. It is. It is, what a view. From the Amari. It's even a safe bit there to go swimming and another bar, La Greta, down there with <laughs> the infinity pool. It is a cool place. That's what you get. Good day. Good day. And having that natural wind coming straight in, that is really, really nice. It's a little bit, mmm, a little bit special. Yes. Yes. Apartments all there, man. Right, I am going to see if no, oh, ain't no dirty birds of birds here, no. The lounge. Lounge there. But again, so picturesque. Could you imagine yourself right here? Wow, you're looking very good, young lady. <laughs> oh, I'm dry. Are you a supermodel? No, no, no. No, no okay, okay. Couple. <laughs> oh, wait. Got, got a button where it's going on. I mean, I am. I'm liking it. You know, I like a bit, a bit of posh, don't you? I do. I do. It's a bit of me. Sweaty cap. You want to pose? Cap on. Cap on cap. Cap on. <laughs> That's really cool. Oh man, look at the kiddies area. Hello. It's brilliant. And they've got computers over there. I'm, I'm, I'm appreciating it, guys. That's the right word. 
of everything down here. I like to see things when they're done. A little bit special, an amazing little lounge. Ah, oh, hello, sweaty cap. Sweaty cap, very polite, nice staff. I'm liking it here, I, I, honest to God, out of all the places, oh man, butterflies everywhere in the garden. Of all the kind of places like this I've been into, I know I've not had a free breakfast, <laughs> but this one is one of my favourites. I'm appreciating. Oh, which is yeah. grab or grab? Oh man, going down to the bottom of the tears. Man, big hotel. Sun Lounge is there. But what is this? There's things here I've not seen before. There's a beach ovens. Oh, what is that? What's that all about? It's a funeral product? Well, I don't know. I don't know what that is. But look, enjoy with me as we walk through this wonderful looking place. Beautiful bar. Beautiful. The pool. Oh man. Slush. Slush. Sorry, Cap. Good day. <laughs> oh, look at this weird man with his funny hat on. Yes, I have come in here wearing my funny hat. I have, I don't know. Something might fall on my head. Okay, sea's a little bit rough. It did pick up rough last night. It did. It did. And it's kind of carrying on, yet the weather is getting hotter and hotter by the day still. So, I don't know, just got a little bit of rough wind. As you can see, the water's well coloured. Where two days ago, this was like a mill pool. So there's a little change in the, in the tides. Beautiful dining area. Loving it. Loving it, guys. Really am. Really am liking this place. It's, it's, it's proper. It's proper. It's a bit of me, it is. Bit of me, and I could I could lay there all day. I could, <laughs> I could, if I didn't have a YouTube channel. <laughs> oh, man. Wicked, right? So I'm going out, and I shall now attempt. Twenty so cap, good eight. I will attempt to get down to the little fishing village. Right at the end of Baton so I can see what's going on with the construction work there. No, no, no. Yes. <laughs> so this is what I do when I'm not vlogging. Sweaty cap, couple, couple and cap. Wicked. Hey, can I exit up there? Thank you, my friend. Have a good day. Really nice place. Polite people, clean, tidy. And if I was paying silly money for all inclusive like this, then that is exactly what I would expect. Bang on, well done. Two, Amari, Phuket. It receives the <laughs> business how it should be awarded. That's what that's the awards I want to give out. <laughs> how it should be awarded. Man. Right. Du, 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 du. Uh, uh, uh. That was hard work. Oh, man. Home. Okay. Cheers, buddy. Right, whilst I recover, oh, I'll see you down the river. That wind, I only come like 100, 200 meters, and that wind, that's really pushing in, man. See this old engine here, look. That's proper. Had it. I'd say everything's gone. Really stiff, that's your um, accelerator. But, <laughs> these guys here, look, with their motor, man. The old one, out with the old, and in with the new. That's what he kept. Wow, the size of it. So it's now gonna fit that rudder to the drive shaft. Drive shaft? Yes. Man, that is a big motor. Brand new. Yeah. Okay. Cup on cap. Cup on. And there he is. There he is. That is 
the angle grinder man at work and no vlog would be complete if if we had no angle grinder man all right watch your step oh oh mate patong jetty book a docking service mate that sea is rough there it is look wow man, oh man he's got another engine there <laughs> Oh, oh. Right. Let's see what's going on on the J. Got more fishing boats harboured up. Oh, this bloke here. I love these boats, man. These long tail boats. I love how the guys work them, how they work the motor, uh, how they've got these extra flaps that they're developed on the back. Uh, I took a lot of interest when I went off to Raleigh with these guys, how they ride the boats, how they surf in on the waves, how they use the current, everything about them and how dangerous they can be if they overload them <laughs> as I was a victim of that. How are you buddy? You good? Good. We're rolling, I'm going to roll right up to the boat, I want to see what the boat is. I want to see what it is all about. Oh man, we've got people here now going for a tour. <laughs> rather you than me oh they're now coming back now coming back swatty cap swatty cap steady up all <laughs> I like the boats even one of these they do. I'd like one of them but I'd probably flip that I would because I'd get a big wave and that would have me over it would it would now this is an open dive boat here whether or not it's been used for such Got a man, two 250s, look at them. That's got some power, man. Oh. Cannot get started. <laughs> man, there's another one. They must be dive boats. They must be. <laughs> and there's the one right at the end. Man, I have to keep running. <laughs> I don't want you, don't want you to lose attention, do I? I oh, know, you like, you get like a gap or a lull, you're like, oh, turn it off now, had enough, bored, bored me. Man, that's a proper boat. In there, Captain, that is. Oh, that's a proper deep sea fishing boat. That really is. That's out of my price range. But here, it's what we want to see. I want to know what it is. It's the Bangla bow. Now is it the floating nightclub, daytime club, beach club? I do believe it is the Bangla bow out. Oh man, I want to go on. <laughs> I'm going to have to jump. It's okay? No, cannot? Okay. Okay. But it is, I'm sure I saw this out at the front of Camelot. I guess they're all speakers and, that, and it is pretty loud <laughs> and it is a converted car ferry uh, you know <laughs> the Bangla boat okay it's cool cool now cool now the, if there was an opportunity for me to go out on this boat then I would have to decline because <laughs> I saw it I saw where it went I saw how noisy it was and I'd probably last 10 minutes before I want to go home. So, if you do own this boat, please do not invite me for a tour. <laughs> I would politely decline. <laughs> However, if there are YouTubers out there who like a bit of a rave, perhaps all day, and you want to be stuck on that boat. How are you, buddy? 2 p.m. today, a party on this boat. Is it going anywhere or staying here? One hour at Freedom Beach. Uh, we're going to see the sunset and come back. Then the sunset at Camelot and then back. No, sunset at... Our sunset from here yeah. and then back. Starts at 2 p.m. Yes. till about 6. 7. Seven. Cool. Thank you, my friend. How much is it? 1,000 baht. 1,000 baht per person. Do you get free drink? No. no. Okay, cool. Cool. Have a good day. All the best, buddy. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Uh -huh. You know how much it is that we'll be leaving. Well, you got the full details there, didn't you? Yes, I'm happy. I'm happy. 
Uh, it's not for me, no. I like nice, cute, calm, soothing chair. Yeah. <laughs> a little bit of dope lemon. I like a bit of dope lemon when I'm sitting on my balcony having a very happy ending. We have an echo. Ah, oh, man. And it's only coming up to 12 o'clock, guys. So that's why yesterday I was really late in the day. And I have to apologise. The last two days, I haven't really had much of an idea what to vlog about. But, you know, I did find a couple of things and uh, which was quite interesting. Uh, but I didn't find them till like four o'clock, half four late in the day. It does put a little bit of pressure on me. And then, like I said, I've been drinking yesterday from half nine. It's like, um, I'm, I'm not really in the right mindset to go out and do the, the vlog. But last night's vlog was all right. I had the crat on. I will give you a report on the Craton. <laughs> Man, that's something, I tell you. When the boys had told me before, it gives you power, makes you strong, right? I thought that was like they used it in the gym or whatever. Now, I had a bit of a problem last night. Bad boy won't go down. No, no, I've got a boom. I'm not with a bar, I was slapping it, hitting it with brick. Bloody great thing. It was pulsing like a boom. 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 So, guys, if you want a little bit of extra power in the bedroom, <laughs> seriously, get some craton into you. I was actually a little bit, when I got I wondered what was going on. Usually when I get home, have a couple of bifters, I'm like, I'm all relaxed and nice and easy and all that. Not last night. <laughs> what like, It's like Mr. Evil. I'm just trying to get to sleep. It's funny. So there you go. There you go, if you want it. You wonder why so many people take the crack on. Now you know. Now you know. It was uncomfortable. I will admit. I want to sleep. The rage on. Right. Fucking get the Muay Thai guys. Right at the end. Will I intercept them? Will I? Hey! Good day. <laughs> Monday night. Monday night. Monday <laughs> All in the timing. Wicked. Wicked. Monday. Right, guys. I need a breakfast. And then on my on my way home, oh, I think I'll make. I need to go into the certain shops on the way home. Uh, the coffee shops, and that will be on my wasted life. I may get all three vlogs up today. Mate, I may. I may not. <laughs> we'll just see how we go. Constantly, we'll just see how we go. But I do need some breakfast. Don't know what to say. Pressure is on. Under pressure. It is. I'm with the singlet boys. Singlet boy. The singlet gang. Right. My Aussie surfing mates. My young Aussie surfing lads. I really am. I'm a singlet list boy. Today. Singlet list today, yes. He's, he's gone all singlet free. But we're in. Chuck the cat. Cheers. Hey. Cheers. Hey. Mm. My favourite part of the day. And it is. It's coming up to one o'clock, is it? Uh, it is 12.51. And I have saved my last prawn. I had prawns for breakfast. I'm now going to order another lot. I was going to do this at the start, but then... Oh. No. You know how to eat a prawn, right? And I've told the Aussie boys I'm going to give them a run for their money when I come and prawn eat it. I am. Uh, I am. <laughs> I am. <laughs> I am. <laughs> okay, let's, let's see. What's on the beach today? Be back in a minute. Yeah. Excuse me. Good day, buddy. How are you? Check out the beach. Boom, boom. Yes, yes, yes. Cool. Now. Ah. <laughs> oh, the tide has come in. I mean, it's really come in. Big time. There's a change in the sea. Like I say, I see all the sea being really rough in Batong. And it's kind of got wavy last night. And I noticed all the yachts have gone. Because it had been pretty horrible sitting here in the waves last night. And the one yacht that was over there is now gone. It's probably gone to find um, a, a bay on the other side of the island where we can get a nice night's sleep. So it'd have been rocking, hey boy, been rocking all night. But the beach, 
it's looking fairly busy I mean really busy today it looks like it's actually got a little bit busier that is beach report today coming live to you from Kamala we're almost live we're almost live and <laughs> I had a laugh the other day, there was an American guy walking up the beach pointing at the pizza restaurant, uh, the pizza menu. And he's going, yeah, I can see pizza. But he's going on, he's saying, but it's really weird because it's all written in Greek. Right. <laughs> now I had to laugh, I did. Because when I first saw that, I thought like, what is that in Greek? <laughs> it's not Greek. Oh, mate, look at him, that's cheeky. That's Russian. That's what that is. Look at him. Cheeky. Cheeky lads, look. That suits you, sir. Suits you. You gotta take over. Go on, mate, I'll get a hat on, on you go. Go on, mate, all you gotta do. There you go. Yeah, you're down good. You're down good. That's it, vlog away. Okay, he's keeping YouTuber. <laughs> that's my job. That's good. Ozzy's in the house. Good. Oh man. Right guys, that is today's vlog. I do appreciate you watching. I am now going to sit here and sink a few bears. <laughs> With the singlet gang. So until tomorrow, <laughs> au revoir.